Oysters are an amazing species. They are these ecosystem engineers. They, wherever they grow, they clean the water, they bring wildlife, they attract wildlife, and as their reefs grow, they have the potential to keep pace with rising sea levels. 400 years ago, New York was home to the Lenape people and to one of the planet's most dynamic and productive ecosystems. This thriving estuary was literally built on one species, oysters. By the early 1900s, pollution, dredging, and worldwide demand for these tasty creatures had wiped out the oyster colonies that once covered 220 acres of New York Harbor, leaving it essentially lifeless. Billion Oyster Project is a New York City nonprofit started in 2014 and we are on a mission to restore oyster reefs to New York Harbor through public education initiatives. Inspired by its founders' work with students at a local marine and maritime-focused public high school, Billion Oyster Project was voted Charity of the Year in 2021 by employees in the New York office of Swiss Re. This earned it a monetary grant and hands-on support from Swiss Re volunteers for three consecutive years. I chose Billion Oyster Project because I live in Staten Island, New York my whole entire life and the beaches are entirely unusable there. Billion Oyster Project will actually help us clean our waters so our beaches would be usable again and kids can actually enjoy it. We are collecting thousands of pounds a week of scallop, oyster and clam shells and they are rich in calcium carbonate which means oyster larvae are attracted to this surface and can then grow their own shell off of this surface. So you can see how oysters here started to grow and create this three-dimensional reef structure. We work with volunteers to clean the shell to make sure they are put into structures, reef structures, and we submerge those reef structures into retrofitted shipping containers, which are kind of Billion Oyster Project's oyster tanks. And once those, those larvae have landed, we, we move those shipping containers on barges out to the harbor and we install those oysters into the harbor. With a staff of just over 40 people, Billion Oyster Project depends on corporate volunteers, community residents, and local youth to do this manual work. All hands were on deck, we were put to work, and um, especially with the cleaning of the shells, that is not an easy process. It was two hours that I felt like at the end of it, I was exhausted, but I felt like I did a really good thing. People were excited to kind of just help our environment and the city that we live in. The harbor side we know is not the cleanest to begin with, so learning more about oysters and seeing how we could be part of that process to clean up our water was something that people were really excited about. My perspective about what could be done with the harbor changed after the volunteering experience by really having a better understanding of what impact uh, groups like the Billion Oyster Project can have. It really showed, I, I think, me and the volunteers that were with me that day, what type of an impact that we can actually have. Our goal is to restore one billion oysters with the help of one million people by 2035. So we've got about 10 years left. And so far, in, since we started in 2014, we have introduced 122 million oysters to the harbor. So we're just over 10% of the way there, but the goal is to kind of exponentially grow and scale our work in the next 10 years. And if we do that, we could potentially even reach a billion before 2035.